I always knew, I know maybe it's arrogant to say that, but I always knew it was good food if I get a chance. I wanted from the get-go, I wanted mine to be just like a little bistro. My focus is, was really on the food, the food as authentic as it could be. If the lentil is supposed to be a certain way, the doro is supposed to be everything I cook is the way, at least I know how, from home. This is my 23rd year, and I'm still doing the same. I'm ready with the injera. Six months into the pandemic, I called my son and I said, I don't think I'm gonna reopen the restaurant. He says, Mom, you're kidding, aren't you? I said, no. You know how horrible things give you the best results? Sometimes, the horrible COVID. I thought I was gonna be wheeled out in a gurney from here. I have never in my life thought for one day I would close the restaurant and have this takeout or this or that. But the idea came and I love that new idea. Everything is just peaceful and easy going. I mean, there is that stress still when the rush happens or when we have events here, but things are going so incredibly well. Some people do catering, some people do weddings, and some people hire me to go to their house and serve for three, four people. I should have done this 20 something years ago, but I wouldn't have gotten Jonathan out of it. So that's, this is working very well. I miss my customers like crazy, but they are so supportive. They said, oh my God, we're so sad. No, don't be sad, this is good for me. Oh, okay, in that case. They keep on, I mean, we were slammed throughout the pandemic. Now when restaurants open, it gets a little slower, and now it's coming back up again. There is no our world on this planet. I, I would cherish or I would be honored to receive than the one bearing Jonathan's name. That one is, it's not even, it's just, it just means everything to me.